In this video, I'll show you the things that I bought second hand and from the stash. And at the same time, I'll be giving you some tips on buying ukai online and reasons why you should buy second hand or ukai online. If you want to know these things, then just keep on watching and please subscribe to this channel. I'll start with ukai first, then the stash. I got this secondhand distress inks from Carousel worth 700 pesos with shipping of 65 pesos for the 12 colors. So my number one tip in online buying of secondhand is to always add the shipping cost into your final price. And then you divide it to check if it is cheaper than the regular price. Oh yeah, before we proceed further, you might be wondering what's the difference between the stash and ukai or second hand. According to the dictionary, the stash is to remove from one's collection to sell or trade your existing crafting supplies or stash and getting rid of excess supplies and inventory. While in ukai, these are second hand apparel accessories at very cheap and by bargain prices. I'll be testing this out later together with the new distress inks which I got from the Destache. So you can compare the difference between a second hand and a Destache at least for the mini distress inks. I got this from a Destache in Facebook. Uh, craft the craft supplies the stash group this one was 385 for four pieces so if we factor in the shipping also which was around 25 since I bought this together with another the stash material this is around 99 per piece my second tip is to compare it to the brand new so for distress is the price ranges are around 120 to 150 online. So we got a bargain here since I got this for around 99 per piece. So here I'm just showing you all the mini distress inks that I bought. The left side are the ones from secondhand or Ukai, while the right side from the Destash. Okay, this is what we're all been waiting for. <laughs> No, not the wet wipes. I mean, we're going to test the inks already. I'm using regular copy paper here. I'll be swatching the ukai inks first, and then I will swatch the let stash inks. My third tip is to talk to the seller. You should ask when was the item opened, how much was used, and how often it was used. I'll just let you listen to the music first while doing the swatches, then I'll just talk again as needed. I think this is the last ukai ink. And now we're going to swatch the, the stash inks. Starting with peacock feathers. Obviously, the, the stash inks, which were still considered as new, were more vibrant compared to the ukai inks. 
But if this is the case, then why should we still buy the Ukay inks? Well, my first reason was I bought the Ukay inks because at, in the first place, I don't know if I will like the distress inks or if my style will jive into the inks. So I bought uh, the lower wrist first, which is to buy something second hand. So here are all the swatches of the inks for comparison, the above, the ukai, and the below, the distash. Showing you the close-up swatches of the ukai inks. And the swatches of the distash inks. Our next ukai purchase is Faber Castell polychromous color pencils 36 colors i got this for 1250 plus 70 pesos shipping the brand new price of these colored pencils are around 3300 to 4000 pesos for the 36 pieces the only flaw i have for this one is there are four colored pencils pieces well, actually, according to the owner, he used it up already. So, okay, let's now test these colored pencils. I have this unfinished coloring page. And we're going to test the polychromos here. color is still vibrant and uh, it's very smooth actually when you use it and I think it blends well also I'm sorry though I cannot compare this to a uh, new polychromos color pencils because I don't have it because it's so expensive well I think this looks great our next ukai purchase is this Albrecht Durer watercolored pencils by Kuiper Castell. Actually, this came together with the polychromos at 1250 for both colored pencils. I got both from Facebook Marketplace. So it's time to test these watercolored pencils. Using the same coloring page, let's color the leaf here. These pencils are buttery smooth, soft, and the colors are vibrant. Blending is also great, even when used dry. Now let's try to blend it with water. And it blends really well also with water. I really love the color here. It's so vibrant. This is unlike the school grade watercolor pencils of Faber Castell. So, why do we buy ukai or destash? Well, first of all, as stated earlier, one of my reasons why I buy this stuff is because I don't want to take a large risk in spending a lot of money on a material that I'm not sure if I will like or not. This is a Ranger Clear Stamp, brand new which I got for 245 pesos. Let's now test these stamps. I will no longer explain step by step since I think this is self-explanatory. My second reason is that I think it's just more friendly to the environment. And you get to use branded items for less. So I hope that the tips that I gave and the reasons that I gave help you in choosing whether to buy the stash or ukai. What other things do you buy secondhand? Please comment down below. 
you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel if you want to watch more craft related videos thank you for watching please watch my other videos as well